this is a question that I see getting asked on forums all the time. Why is my room spray cloudy? Or how do I make my room spray clear? So does your room spray or your pillow spray turn out like this cloudy? And here's some that I've poured out into a little glass. Does that turn out cloudy when really you want it to look like this? All really nice and clear. So I'm here to show you how I get my spray clear. There's lots of different ways of making room sprays and pillow sprays. By ways, I mean lots of different ingredients that you can use in them. But I'm just going to talk you through the ingredients that I use. So here I've already weighed out my essential oil blend. I'm not going to tell you what is in that because that's my secret blend. But I will tell you that in here there's 17.5 grams. Okay, so in order to get our oil to mix with water in the long run, because I am using water and not all alcohol in this blend, we need to use a solubilizer. And one of the easiest solubilizers you'll find is polysorbate 80. I'm not talking about polysorbate 20, it's polysorbate 80 specifically. And the first thing that we need to know is that you're going to need at least twice as much polysorbate 80 as you have essential oils. For the amount that I'm making today, I'm going to use 35 grams of polysorbate 80, which is twice the amount of oils that I've got in there, 17.5 grams. My polysorbate 80. And I'm going to give that a really good stir around. And I'm just going to let that sit for five minutes. Now, you'll see online that some recipes that say you can use vodka. No, 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 no. You don't want to be using vodka. This is what you want to be using. Isopropyl alcohol, it's rubbing alcohol, and it needs to be 99.9% .9 purity. Okay, so I've let that sit for a short while and the amount of alcohol that I'm adding to this is I'm going to add 50 grams and I'm hoping that I've got enough because I'm getting very low. I do have a little bit more in a canister so I want 50 grams of alcohol. Pour it into the lid. Oops. 50 grams there. And the last thing I'm going to add into here, I'll give this a quick stir. What I also want to add into here uh, is 12.5 grams of glycerin so I'll tear that out touch more give that a stir And then uh, what I'm going to do now, and this is the really important part, you've got your solubilizers in there and your, your alcohol, your polysorbate 80. Now you've got to have some patience. 
So I'm going to, I've got an empty bottle here. It's just the one that I use. And I've got a little funnel. And I'm just going to pour my mixture here into the funnel, get it in the bottle. I'm just going to have to take it off camera to get it. I can't tip the jug up high enough or it'll bump the camera. Okay, you might want to wait a minute or two so you get the very last drips coming through the funnel. Now, alcohol is volatile, it evaporates quickly, so we want to do that as quickly as possible. So now, I'm going to leave this in this bottle. I'll keep it somewhere near me, so that when I remember, I'm going to give it a shake. Because what we want to do is make sure that all the oils are fully solubilized and dissolved into that alcohol and the polysorbate 80, and that takes time. The, this mixture here, exactly the same ingredients, but I got too impatient and added the water into this way too soon. You have to, have to have some patience and let this sit, I'd say, for eight hours or longer. Eight hours if you're really impatient, but try and wait longer. Wait, I don't know, 24 hours, maybe even longer. And I just tend to just keep giving this a shake whenever I remember. So I'm going to go put that somewhere where it's at hand so I can remember to shake it whenever I remember. And then I'll be back to show you adding the water to this and how it comes out clear. So it's been about eight hours. Um, yeah, I would leave it longer. I just wanted to get on with the video and finish it off. So I'm going to put the water in and you can see that this is going to stay clear. Okay, so I've got my little jug and I want to add, just to put into my little jug, 137.5 grams of distilled water. I probably will have to take this out of shot because 101... Okay. Okay. Now then, bringing my bottle back into play. I'm a little funnel. The camera is so close. And I'm just adding in the water. I'm going to have to take this away a little bit so I can tip the jug all the way. There we go. Lid back on. Well, it's looking like that because I've shaken it, but I just want to shake it to get that water um, combined in with it. just going to fill I do find this really hard I end up making it overflow a lot of the time so I'm going to go a bit short all I need to do is put it into my bottles there we go made it overflow as usual but you can see that's clear tell you what my tea towels smell nice there you go after it's settled down for a couple of minutes totally clear spray um room spray pillow spray this is pillow spray but the same applies to room spray so now you know how to get your sprays clear 
doing it my way. <laughs>